you multiply using an array? Think about this question during the lesson. There are 13 toy dogs in each row of a carnival booth. 20 rows contain toy bulldogs, and 4 rows contain toy huskies. How many toy dogs are there? To solve this problem, you need to first find how many rows of toy dogs are in the booth. There are 24 rows of toy dogs, with 13 toy dogs in each row. What two numbers should you multiply to find how many toy dogs there are? Select your answer. Multiply 24 and 13. Use an array to find 24 times 13. Separate each factor into tens and ones. Color each section a different color. Which section represents 20 times 10? The red section represents 20 times 10. 12, 40, 60, and 200 are partial products. Add the number of squares in each part of the array. Why add rather than multiply to find the product? You add because each part of the model is a part of the product, and the parts add together to make a whole. There are 312 toy dogs in the booth. Check if the answer is reasonable. 24 times 13 equals 312 is close to 25 times 10 equals 250. The answer is reasonable. Why should you check if the answer is reasonable? Checking if your product is reasonable helps to ensure that you have not made an error in your calculations or forgotten to include one of the partial products. Now you know how to multiply using an array. Good job!